Hi there my peeps and this is the last one of the two packs of DC Universe Classics versus the Masters of the Universe Classics uh, one of my favorite ones uh, right away I don't give much um, this was another Toys Us exclusive but only if you were in the booth of 2011 what's it called San Diego Comic Con that's where I got the Bizarro and, and Faker and this is where I got Supergirl and She-Ra because the Aquaman and Merman and the Hawkman and Stratos I picked them up at, at Toys R Us but there was no stickers this has a little sticker packaging is American it says Supergirl the, the Maid of Might exclusive mini poster included and She-Ra most powerful woman in the universe right away the, uh, the Supergirl don't like the paint job I give her a 2 on 5 I really don't like it it's not my favorite, uh, uh, but the she itself is beautiful. Love the paint job. It's a little bit different than the original one. I give her a four on five. Yeah. Oh yeah, I love this one. I love, love the artwork in the back. Oh, it's beautiful. I give it a five on five. Now, this is a big bio. Five on five in the back. Look at this. It looks beautiful. Look. look. Okay. Bio of... Supergirl, the Maid of Might. Real, real name, Kara Zor-El. Superman's cousin from planet Krypton. Kara Zor-El arrived on Earth as a teenager to protect her, to protect her. To protect her, Kara was uh, sacrificed, was secret, was hidden on Wonder Woman's home island of Temerskara. Unfortunately, Supergirl was abandoned by the villain, was abducted by the villain Darkseid and pitted against Superman in a battle for her, her soul. Immediately, Superman won out, won out and returned to Earth with Kara, who now wears a co custom costume expired by her cousin as the young heroine in training Supergirl. She-Ra, most powerful woman in the universe. We all name Adora of the House of Randor. Challenging the combined power of the universe and the wisdom of Elblis of Eternia, Adora transforms herself into She-Ra, the most powerful woman in the universe. Her strength comes not from brute force but from sheer will and her cunning magical powers of healing abilities. She also has the power to communicate telepathically with animals. As both she and Adora, she helped lead the, the great rebellion of Eternia against the Horde invaders. Later when Hordak found an, esca found an, an escape to Eternia, she found Found, founded him, followed him a, along with several of her friends and allies. Once there, the Princess of Power joined forces with the new re, re guided, re, regained, re, re, regarded, regained masters of the universe who, with it, without King Randor, had become outcasts in their own land, fighting against Horde's new threat I love this pack like I said before uh, sometimes I'm sorry I have a hard time reading you have to understand that I'm a little bit hard and hard for me to read sometimes but you know I've had people in the past subscribe to me didn't like these videos because I can't read but you know what forget about you you're not me you're not here you're not with my peeps that uh, that like me and uh, support me. So Plastic Junkie out. Thank you for watching these seven different parts of two packs of Master Universe versus DC Universe. Master Universe Classic versus the DC Universe Classics. Stay plastic, stay DC, and stay He-Man. Thank you.